Well, in other news, a positive story tonight about community members working to lift the spirits of others. A new art display in Johnson County has an added benefit as well. 41 Action News reporter Gian Kim explains. In a time of adversity and divide, when the direction of our future is unclear, peace, hope, and creativity is what the community of Lenexa hopes to inspire. The last year that we've been through, people being ha having to stay home, and, and not see their friends, you know, and, and things like that. I think it's just been really nice to have a message of peace and um, a way to bring a smile to people. 30 local artists have designed these poles in their own creative ways. The artists put heart and soul into these poles. They spent an enormous amount of time to decorate them. 37 peace poles are scattered throughout the Sarko Park Trails Park, catching the eyes of those it hopes to inspire. I hope you'll just come out and see it. It's just beautiful. At the end of the exhibit, the peace poles will be sold at an auction. All the proceeds will go towards Project 1020, which is the only shelter in Johnson County for adults who are homeless. They provide transportation, meals, beds, and support as people get back on their feet. It could happen to any one of us. Barbara McEver is the co-founder and president of Project 1020. Her mission to serve the homeless dates back to 2015. There's a stigma that's put on homelessness, and it doesn't always look like what you think it's going to look like. And so I'm sure all of us every day run into people that are experiencing homelessness and we don't have any idea. McEver says in Johnson County, people who live in the gaps of the community may be overlooked. She hopes a donation can go towards helping her clients become independent. It's so difficult. There's so much more to it than just go get that job. People experiencing homelessness have so many obstacles in front of them and they, they need the help, they need the respect, they need the smile. Gian Kim, 41 Action News. What a great idea. Please tell us about people lending a helping hand like this in your community. You can share their story on social media. Just use the hashtag, we see you.